Labor delegates representing 16 million workers gather in New York for the history-making merger of the American Federation of Labor and the Congress of Industrial Organizations. The merger is the culmination of 20 years of effort. Symbolically, Walter Ruther, CIO president, and George Meany, AFL president, declare the meeting open jointly to thunderous applause. The meeting, however, reaches its climax with the nomination of officers for the new AFL CIO organization, largest in the world. Walter Ruther nominates George Meany as president and is himself named one of the 37 vice presidents. From his Gettysburg office, President Eisenhower is among the first to congratulate the new labor body and to call its attention to the grave responsibilities it faces on the national scene. In your new national organization, as well as in your many constituent organizations, you have a great opportunity of making your meetings the world's most effective exhibit of democratic processes. In those meetings, the rights of minorities holding differing social, economic, and political views must be scrupulously protected and their views accurately reflected. In this way, as American citizens, you will help the Republic correct the faulty, fortify the good, build stoutly for the future, and reinforce the most cherished freedoms of each individual citizen. jet powered helicopter in the world is unveiled by the Air Force. Capable of carrying 40 passengers or three jeeps, the 77-foot craft weighs 16 tons and is capable of speeds up to 150 miles an hour. Each of the three-bladed rotors is 82 feet across and is powered by gas turbine engines capable of lifting seven tons of useful load. Despite its size, the new helicopter giant is more maneuverable than its piston-driven predecessors and with reduced fuel consumption will have greater range. Air rescue work gets a mighty assist as this flying titan joins the nation's defense forces. Britain's Comet 3 prepares for a record-challenging round-the-world flight from London, a dramatic introduction to the aviation world for the new jet transport, completely redesigned from the earlier models after a series of crashes in which 110 were killed. The new comet showed its metal in a 42-hour flight to Australia, 7,000 miles at some 600 miles an hour. American ambassador to Germany, James B. Conant, meets the press to deliver a blunt rejection to Russian proposals to take the city from its present four-power rule and place it under the control of red-dominated East Germany. He also makes a vigorous protest over the detention by East German police of two congressmen. He makes crystal clear that this country will never accede to a change in the Berlin government. The Silver Jubilee celebration of Modern Screen Magazine is keynoted by Kirk Douglas, beard and all, who presents the annual award to Rock Hudson, selected as the most popular film actor of the year. It's a happy birthday celebration, especially for the handsome young actor, for this is the second year in a row that Mr. Hudson has been taken by Modern Screen as most popular actor. Top honors or a top star. Now, now, brown cow, not brown, but orange, an orange cow on Madison Avenue. This strange state of affairs arose as the result of an ad in the papers, seeking an orange cow to publicize a brand of orange juice distributed by dairies. So hence the earth-shaking idea. The bathing beauties are on hand for scenic effect, which is lost on the two bovine finalists. The bewildered beasties think the stuff in the container is milk, they don't get the connection. It's a grade A puzzle, confusing and not very amusing. The ultimate in do-it-yourself projects from the home workshop of 16-year-old Kurt Golden, Arthur the Robot. The second mechanical man built by the Oakland, California high school youth, Arthur represents all of a month's after-school tinkering. The project paid off. Arthur now handles many of Kurt's chores around the house, while the young genius controls operations from the sidelines. Kurt's next step will be to install radio controls and really take it easy while Arthur works. Oops, an accident. Bad aim or something. But was it an accident? 
Arthur ain't talking. Seems suspicious, though, when the controls are just about foolproof. But Arthur and the robot's a harmless fellow, and uh-oh, here he comes. This is where we go. <laughs> Pros at work in the Los Angeles Coliseum. Rams versus Colts with the host critters, the Rams, getting up steam before 37,000 braving the weather. Tank Younger torpedoes the Colts for the touchdown, and the Western Conference leaders lead. The Baltimore Colts come to life in the fourth quarter when a Ram aerial backfires. Bill Pellington, Colt guard, intercepts and makes like a halfback. The Colts are off to the races. With Shaw holding the reins, the Colts keep moving. Shaw's tossed to Mutcheller, clicks for yardage as the one-time Notre Dame ace goes to the Los Angeles seven-yard line. Three plays later, Shaw hands to Amici, Allen the horse of Wisconsin fame. Touchdown for Baltimore. The Rams roar back with Tank Younger carrying everything before him, referee included. The Colts can't stop him, nor stop the Rams from retaining their slim lead in the Western Conference race. Younger scores, Rams win 20 to 14.